Hey, y'all, y'all tuned in right now to that Hood Talk News, man. That's your boy, Big Panamera, JT Bigger Figure, and Lockstone, Blackstone. You dig all the way from Fillmore, Africa, man. Keep pushing, my G. I just want the paper, I just want the paper Tryna run that check up, I ain't worried about no hater I just want the paper, I just want the paper Run around with that bankroll on my life, ain't looking for danger Yeah, yeah, we getting money over here Yeah, I see them haters over there Yeah, them boys be wishy-washy, yeah Yeah, oh, oh, oh Shut your dumb ass up! Yo, yo, I'm with Jay Storm right now. I just want to shout out to Hook Talk News and give him some love. Man, you already know what it is. All money in, no money out. Jay Storm from the east to the west. You already know, man. Shout out to Hood Talk News. You already know. Thanks, bro. Peace and love. Yo, yo, yo. What's good? What's good? Man, there's a couple things I want to talk to y'all about today. God damn it. Now, man. We got motherfucking Ja Rule promoting his tax business and people getting on his ass. Man, look, man. This is a whole new day and timing, goddammit. Motherfucking goddamn rappers is out here doing their own thing, man. It's more than one way to make money, man. Shit. Goddammit. Ja Rule ain't the only motherfucker with a tax place, goddammit. Somebody else y'all know could be goddamn me, but let me tell you something shit It's good money and that shit and on the goddamn tax company You probably make more money than a goddamn rapper You see what I'm saying this man owning this company And it don't matter if he wasn't on it. He was working for somebody money is fucking money, man I don't know where the new generation come from with this shit, man, but money is goddamn money, man It's a new day and time boy there's a hundred goddamn ways to make money now, boy. You think a motherfucker for the pass up an opportunity fucked up as this world is because of who they is? You got life fucked up. Real fucked up. Let me tell you something, man. Ja Rule, Young Jock, all you brothers out there that's trying to make an honest living and tired of being in these folks' face for some bullshit, man, salute to y'all, man. Keep doing what the fuck you doing, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Because ain't nobody else going to pay your bills. Not even the motherfuckers that's laughing. That thing they going to do, they laugh. You, you can't win either way. They motherfuckers say, Young Jock done lost his house, car, and everything. Or John Rue done lost his goddamn house, car, and every goddamn thing. Now all you motherfuckers talk about that. Then you'll be saying, oh, he should have goddamn took that Uber job. Or he should have opened up that tax place like he was talking about. He'll still be scraped right now if he would have did that. A motherfucker can't win. God damn it. It's 2020, god damn it. And all the people talking about them is them bum ass niggas that still sitting on the couch because them the same motherfuckers that talk about me, god damn it. Now, ladies, god damn it. If this nigga sitting on, on, on your couch every goddamn day playing video games, worrying about what the next motherfucker doing online, god damn it, it's time to get rid of that nigga ass. Especially as he at the age at least goddamn uh, 35 or older, goddamn it. I don't know. This is the day and time of the goddamn grown boys, y'all. Niggas don't believe in doing nothing. And half the time, the motherfucker that's picking at somebody is the motherfucker that ain't got shit. Half the time, the motherfucker that's talking about you need to do this and do that and all this shit there and laughing like uh, Ja Rule and, and, and fucking Young Jock got a job. Nine out of ten is that nigga that ain't got now. I'm going to tell you, ladies, it's goddamn 2020. You motherfuckers sitting around on your goddamn couch, like I said before, playing video games, ain't doing nothing with their goddamn self, always talking about what the next person goddamn doing. If this nigga sitting next to you at, at the same time got goddamn housewives on and he know the whole goddamn episode, it's time to get rid of that nigga ass. If he talking about here YouTube and he ain't got goddamn 200 goddamn subscribers, this time he need to make that nigga get a job or get rid of his ass. 
I mean, you sitting right here talking about every goddamn body else. Motherfucker, you ain't got shit at the end of the day. The motherfuckers you talking about is making a goddamn dollar right now at the, at, as you speak, motherfucker. And that's the reality of the shit. Motherfucker, you ain't got a pot to goddamn piss in or a window to throw it out. Scrape bomb. I know a couple of them, y'all. They, they be wondering around this motherfucker. But yeah, man. On another note. Like I told y'all before, man. Everything I told y'all before is, is working out. The goddamn spirit of goddamn Nipsey is, is around this motherfucker and is well alive, goddamn it. Now, we might not get the goddamn justice in the way y'all thought we was going to get justice. But goddamn it, we getting it just how I said we're going to get it. You understand me? Motherfucking goddamn it, all the players involved is going down one way or the goddamn other. You got Cowboy in jail. We don't know what the fuck they going to do with this nigga. He might not never see the light of day again because we don't even understand why the fuck they got the nigga in there. You understand me? Then you got goddamn uh big U. Nothing going on with him gonna ever get off the ground. You know, he thought, you know what I'm saying? If if Nipsey get out the picture, his life was gonna be better. He was gonna be the goddamn uh king of motherfucking Crenshaw. Now nigga, you doing more shit for Crenshaw than, than when Nipsey was born. Off the screen of people feel sorry what happened to Nip and they think y'all was still goddamn down. So people coming to help you. And you still ain't getting no goddamn props for that shit. Ain't nobody running around talking about no motherfucking big you. No goddamn body. Okay? Baby mama. I told y'all about her. She lost the baby. The baby gone. At least she still get to see her. Look like she trying to clean her shit up. I hope that work out right. Then we got old Carrie. Look at Carrie. Having strokes and shit. I'm telling you, every name I call, man, shit going wrong with him. Whack 100, I don't think your bitch ass had nothing to do with it, but you open your mouth, so that put you involved. And look at your career, nigga. You getting knocked out, goddamn it, on every goddamn corner, motherfucker. Straight up, man, ain't nothing this shit gonna work out but none of these motherfuckers. Everybody that I named... In the Nipsey case that I felt like had something to do with it, you're guilty either way, goddammit. If you ain't goddamn pull the trigger, you're still guilty, man, of something that got to do with goddamn Nip. All you motherfuckers. From laughing at him, to talking shit, all that shit. To trying to goddamn live off his goddamn name, all that shit. But check this out. Just like I told y'all. Everybody falling down. All the players I named, not one person, goddammit, I called in the beginning is left, is excluded from this shit. Something that went down with all these motherfuckers. So we getting justice. We probably not getting justice through the, you know, the court system the way we want to see it, but it's happening. Goddammit, the spirit of Nip is well alive and that motherfucker is breathing hard on this earth and kicking, goddammit. And kicking. So, you know, we might not never see justice through the court system. But I just want to let y'all know, goddammit, we getting justice. We goddammit getting justice, goddammit. One way or the motherfucking other, we getting justice. Look around, y'all. Look around. Look the fuck around. You know what I'm saying? But, man, I just came to y'all to bring y'all that, man. Salute to everybody that fuck with hood talk, man. You know what I'm saying? A real platform, goddammit. You know what I'm saying? That 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 people really rock with. So, shout out to all my subscribers. All my new subscribers. When I say that, I really mean it. Because, thanks to y'all, we damn near 20,000 subscribers. So, you know. I appreciate that, man, you know, and I ain't asked for this. You know, when I came alone, it, it you know, it, it organically came to me. So, word of advice to everybody that's trying to be a goddamn YouTuber. I'm going to tell you like this here. A lot of motherfuckers try for years on anything you do in life. You try to try for years and never make it. Sometimes you got to look at, man, this shit just ain't for me. Or is you just doing this to prove to somebody you could make it in that field and you'll waste a lot of time trying to prove to a motherfucker you could make it in that field 
You know what I'm saying? Doing it just to prove something. You just wasted a whole goddamn lot of time, man. Because that motherfucker you trying to prove you could be just as good as them at in that field, goddamn it. Shit, they probably already goddamn making money and 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 living and, and, and making a living off that, goddamn it. So if you gonna chase it like that, goddamn it, you better get a goddamn side job, motherfucker. You better goddamn get a side job, motherfucker. Because what's working for somebody else probably ain't gonna work for you. Probably ain't gonna work for you, goddamn it. You be riding these motherfucking mad match talking about what everybody else doing because you ain't get doing it, goddammit. But shout out to all my aspiring YouTubers. There's some good content creators out there, man. I got much love and respect for y'all, man. But all you goddamn flunkies, nigga, you done tried 12 goddamn videos and you can't get a goddamn 200 views, you might as well give it up, goddammit. That means your shit suck. Or go back in the lab and see what the fuck you doing wrong. Straight up, goddammit. But I just want to thank, I just want to really thank everybody for rocking with me, choosing me, and fucking with me, man. I love y'all, man. Hood Talk family, I'm out.